Hi students, welcome back again to another episode of Learning. For today's video, pag-aaralan natin ng implicit differentiation. To start with, what is the difference between explicit and implicit function? So kapag sinabi natin explicit function, y is expressed explicitly in terms of x. Ano ibig sabihin niyan? Yung y ay nasa isang side lang and then yung lahat ng x niya yung nasa right side. Ibig sabihin, separated yung y is equal to a function of x. Okay? So, that is an explicit function. Katulad nito, y is equal to x square minus 1. Pwede rin x square minus 1 is equal to y. So, as long as y is equal to a function of x, that is an explicit function. Now, kapag sinabi naman natin implicit function, ito yung function kung saan magkasama yung x at y, either of the two sides of the equation. For example, we have x squared plus y squared equals 1. Okay? So, yung y ay hindi naka-express explicitly as a function of x, kundi magkasama sila na nasa left side. So, kapag magkasama yung x at y, or hindi siya naka-form na ganito, y is equal to a function of x that is an implicit function. Now, sabi ng iba na x square plus y square is equal to 1 is not a function kasi nga equation siya ng circle na magpe-fail sa vertical line test. Yes, this is not a function in general. Pero kapag inexpress natin siya uh, explicitly like this, so y square is equal to 1 minus x square, then get the square root of both sides, then y is equal to plus minus square root of 1 minus x square. So, ito yung tinatawag nating explicit function. So, y is equal to a function of x. Okay? So, ito ay binubuo ng dalawang function. Okay? So, we have y is equal to square root of 1 minus x square and y is equal to negative square root of 1 minus x square. Kung saan itong una ay yung upper semicircle kapag na-graph natin siya. Okay, ito yung upper semicircle, y is equal to 1 minus x square. Ito namang isa ay yung lower semicircle na negative square root of 1 minus x square. So, by definition of implicit function, kapag nag-coincide yung dalawang function na bumubuo sa kanya, then it is an implicit function. Okay? So, paano natin kukunin ang derivative ng uh, implicit function. So, una, pwede natin siyang i-express explicitly katulad nito. So, meron tayong y is equal to square root of 1 minus x square. I-differentiate natin yung dalawa. So, una, ito muna. Then, y prime is equal to using the differentiation rule. So, 1 over 2 square root of 1 minus x square times derivative nito which is negative 2x. Then, cancel itong 2. So, magkakaroon tayo ng negative x over square root of 1 minus x square. Then, kukunin din natin ang derivative nito. So, we have y is equal to negative square root of 1 minus x square. Then, y prime is equal to negative 1 over 2 square root of 1 minus x square times derivative nito, which is negative 2x. Then, cancel natin itong 2. So, we will have y prime is equal to x over square root of 1 minus x square. So, dalawa ang kanyang derivative kasi nga yung graph niya ay nagko-compose ng dalawang explicit function. Now, paano kung meron tayong implicit function katulad nito? x square plus 2xy is equal to y square. So, yung y ay impossible na ma-express explicitly as a function of x. So, wala tayong magagawa rito kundi gumamit ng isang uri ng differentiation na tatawagin natin implicit differentiation. Okay? So, sasagutan natin ito mamaya using implicit differentiation. So, sa pagsasagawa ng uh, implicit differentiation, kailangan natin tandaan ng mga sumusunod. Kapag magdi-differentiate tayo ng same variable, differentiate as it is. So, let's say we have d over dx of x square, then we will have 2x. Bakit 2x na lang? Kasi nga, yan ay dx over dx. And dx over dx is equal to 1, kaya 2x na lang to. Okay? So, paano naman kapag, uh, kapag ka different variable, say, d, d over dx of y square? So, differentiate as it is. So, meron tayong 2y. Kaso, siya ay different variable, kaya magdadagdag tayo rito ng times dy over dx. So, ang derivative ng y square with respect to x is 2y dy over dx. Pero, ang ginagawa ko rito ay 2y y prime kasi yung y prime is dy over dx para hindi ka na mahirapan pag susulat ng uh, dy over dx kasi uulit-ulitin mo siya kapag magdi-differentiate ka na may y okay 
Next, paano naman ito? D over dx of 2y. So, different variable sila. Kaya, differentiate as it is. Okay? So, 2, derivative ng 2y is 2. Since ito ay magkaibang variable, kaya maglalagay ka rito ng y prime. Okay? So, dito naman, d over dx of 3x, uh, same variable sila, kaya ayan ay 3 lamang. Bakit wala siyang dy over dx? Kasi ito ay x, 3 dx over dx, kaya matitira na lamang dyan ay 3. So, let us differentiate x square plus y square is equal to 1 by implicit differentiation. So, kapag ganito, i-differentiate natin per term. So, derivative ng x square is 2x plus... Derivative ng 2y, different variable siya kasi with respect to x nagtitake place ang uh, differentiation natin. So, meron tayong 2y. Since different variable, kaya maglalagay tayo ng y prime. Okay? Kasi nga, isasolve natin yung y prime. Is equal to derivative ng 1 is 0. So, meron tayong 2x plus 2y y prime is equal to 0. So, after natin ma-differentiate per term, Iipunin natin yung may y prime sa left side and then the rest of the term ay doon sa right side. Since isa lang naman yung y prime natin dito, edi iwan natin siya sa left side. So, 2y, y prime is equal to, ilipat natin yung 2x, so meron tayong negative 2x. So, after that, solve for y prime. So, para, ma ma para maiwan yung y prime sa left side, i-divide natin both sides by 2y. Okay? So, cancel yung 2y. Meron tayong y prime is equal to negative x over y. Kasi cancel dito ang 2. Ngayon, sasabi nung iba, sir, nagkaiba po ang sagot kanina. Yes, magkakaiba ang sagot natin kanina kasi ang ating derivative dito ay may y. Pero kung ipapalit natin yung value ng y kanina, wherein y is equal to square root of 1 minus x square at saka y is equal to negative square root of 1 minus x square then ang derivative natin dito is y prime is equal to negative x over ito so meron tayong square root of 1 minus x square and then we also have y prime is equal to negative x over ito naman which is negative square root of 1 minus x square, then magiging positive ito. So, x over square root of 1 minus x square. So, kung mapapansin nyo, pareho lang siya nung sagot natin kanina. Pero, sa implicit differentiation, it is safe na ganito yung ating sagot para isa lamang siya. Kasi nga, may times na hindi talaga natin ma-express yung y explicitly as a function of X. Let's have the following examples. Differentiate each function with respect to x. Number 1, x squared plus 2xy is equal to y squared. To differentiate implicitly, kailangan natin i-differentiate each term. So, the derivative of x squared is 2x. Okay, so differentiate as it is kasi same variable. Plus, so meron tayo ditong y kaya ginawa ko siyang 2 times the derivative of xy. Okay, so by using product rule, meron tayo ritong first. Okay, so lagyan ko ito ng parenthesis para hindi tayo malito. So, x here is the first factor times derivative ng y which is 1y prime. Okay, kasi y siya. Kaya iniwan ko na lang na y prime. Plus, the second factor is y times derivative ng x which is 1. Okay, is equal to derivative ng y square. This is a different variable kaya 2y, y prime. Okay, basta tandaan nyo kapag ka mag-differentiate tayo ng y, lagi may karutong siya na y prime or dy over dx. Okay, next step, we have 2x plus 2 times the quantity. Nire-write ko lang siya as xy prime plus y is equal to 2y y prime. Okay, next, by distributive property, ito yon So, we have 2x plus 2xy prime plus 2y is equal to 2y y prime. So, kung mapapansin natin dito, lahat ng terms ay may 2. Kaya, dinivide ko all the terms by 2. So, meron tayo na lang na x plus xy y prime plus y is equal to y y prime. Okay, so next step, kailangan nating uh, pagsamasamahin lahat ng y prime sa left side at saka yun namang walang y prime dun sa right side. So, meron tayong xy y prime, may iwan ito. And then, itong y y prime, nilipat ko. So, y, minus y y prime is equal to negative x minus y. Okay, so nilipat natin itong dalawa kasi wala silang kasamang y prime. And then, i-factor out natin yung y prime. So, magiging ganito siya. So, y prime times the quantity xy 
minus y is equal to negative x minus y then divide both sides by xy minus y xy minus y so cancel ito ang matitira ay y prime is equal to negative x minus y all over xy minus y or pwede nating ilabas yung negative magiging negative x plus y over xy minus y example number 2 uh, differentiate with respect to x, x square y plus 2x is equal to 2y square minus 1. So, differentiate natin each term. So, ito munang x square y. By using the product rule, meron tayong the first uh, factor, x square, times derivative ng y, which is 1y prime, kaya y prime na lang, plus the second factor, which is y, times derivative ng x square is 2x, plus derivative ng 2x is 2 is equal to, derivative ng 2y square is 2 times, okay, hiniwalay ko yung 2, then derivative ng y square is 2y, y prime. And then derivative ng negative 1 is 0. Next, nire-write ko lang ito. So, x square y prime plus 2xy plus 2 is equal to 4y, y prime. And then, pag samasamahin natin yung lahat ng y prime dito sa left side at yung wala dun sa right side. So, meron tayong x square y prime minus nilipat ito 4y y prime is equal to negative 2xy nilipat ito at saka yung 2. Okay? Next, i-factor out natin yung y prime. So, meron tayong y prime times the quantity x square minus 4y is equal to negative 2xy plus 2. So, pinactor out ko na agad yung negative dito. Pwede rin hindi nyo siya i-factor out. And then, divide both sides by x square minus 4y. Okay, so ang matitira natin ay y prime is equal to 2xy or negative 2xy plus 2 over x square minus 4y. So this is the final answer. So pwede rin siyang uh, y prime is equal to negative 2xy minus 2 over x square minus 4y. Next example number 3. Find the slope of the tangent line to the curve x square plus y square minus 2x minus 6y plus 8 is equal to 0 at 0, 4. So first differentiate the implicit function with respect to x. Then we have derivative of x square is 2x plus derivative of y square is 2y y prime minus derivative ng 2x is 2 minus derivative of 6y is 6y prime is equal to 0. Derivative ng 8 is 0 na. And then, pag samasamahin natin yung may y prime sa left side, yung wala naman sa right side. So, meron tayong 2y y prime minus 6y prime is equal to, ilipat yung 2x. So, negative 2x, ilipat yung negative 2, magiging positive 2. Next, i-factor out natin yung y prime. Then, we will have y prime times the quantity 2y minus 6 is equal to negative 2x plus 2. Then, divide both sides by 2y minus 6. Cancel ito. So, y prime is equal to negative 2x plus 2 over 2y minus 6. Then, to find the slope of the tangent line to the curve at the given point, we will just substitute this coordinate sa derivative ng function kasi ang derivative is also the slope of the tangent line to the curve, the general equation of the slope of tangent line to the curve at any given point. So, m is equal to negative 2x plus 2 over 2y minus 6 is equal to negative 2 times x here is 0 plus 2 over 2 times 4, the value of y, minus 6 is equal to 2 over 8 minus 6 is equal to 2 over 2, which is equal to 1. So, the slope of the tangent line to the curve at 0, 4 is 1.